Hi everyone and welcome to Your Best You. I'm Reverend Dr. Kathleen Fennedy. And I'm Joan Kazmarzik, your co-host. Well, I don't know if we're actually in 2022 or 2021 right now. I know. So <laughs> we'll see where we show up in the scheme of things at Nutmeg TV. It's the beginning of a new season. As you know, uh, we have Chakra One that you've seen. I just want to take a moment as we go into the new year to again take some time to hope that you've had a ha happy and safe holiday, or if you're just going into it, that you do have a happy and safe holiday and ditto with the new year. Exactly. <laughs> happy and healthy and safe. Yeah. I mean, you know, live life. Yes. Joy de la vie. Um, and also, I want to take a moment to thank Nutmeg TV. Uh, they've been steadfast, and Brian Biggie, for uh, all of his expertise. He's made us a new logo. I hope you've had a chance to see it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I sent him some things, and he shopped it up a little bit more, and voila, here we go at Your Best You, a new logo for you. Thanks for stopping by, too, you know. And Joni Sutter, we totally appreciate you and everything you do for us in this community. And uh, Nutmeg TV rocks. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's worth a try in 2022. Absolutely. Try something new in 2022, you know. All right, so Chakra 2. Yes. What do we know about Chakra 2, Joan? What do we know about Chakra 2? Chakra 2 is your sensuality, your creativity. A little, go on. Go on. <laughs> That, that starts it. <laughs> and ends it as far as she knows, right? <laughs> no. No. Okay, listen, it's your yeah, procreative and co-creative self. It's your, um, be below your navel and above your first, uh, you know, first chakra, you know, which is the very base of the sacrum, as I've said to you before. So it's a very vital life. Uh, it's orange, you know. And uh, so it's really important that we have a balanced orange um, because even uh, our sensuality and yes. our creativity can become imbalanced right you don't want to be overboard on anything no but you know how we are <laughs> as humans oftentimes and i think it's just part of the natural flow we go as the pendulum we swing from one extreme you to know other, yeah. until we find our goldilocks zone and then life comes and swings so that's the rhythm of it. And it's always a, a, a balancing act. Yes, it is. And life is very good at throwing you a curveball every now and again. So <laughs> I, I don't know how to respond to that. Right now. <laughs> that's okay. Just take it as it is. Sometimes it, it, it is. feels like it's, you know, like, oh, I'm going to say this, you know, because uh, these past couple of years have been, I think, more than a curveball. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you know, we're all coming through this now. And I, I'm always sending you positive love and light energy. You know, I work with the, the uh, Reiki. I'm a Reiki master teacher trainer. Um, and, you know, I'm also probably trained in the deepest of practices for yoga, yoga therapy, dance kinetics, and, you know, movement therapy. My doctorate in medical humanities, you know, I try to blend it all together so that I'm bringing as much of a broadened perspective of, uh, of health, because yeah. there is really no one answer and everybody is different. And that's really why I came up with Your Best You, because it truly is about finding what works for you. Yeah. I mean, John and I have been living together for about a decade now yeah. as friends and been you know, a golden girl kind of, you know, situation in our life. And, uh, and we're very different in terms of our sleep patterns, our eating patterns. Everything is very different, uh, you know? Yeah. So. And yet we still find a center. Well, we can, you can be friends with people exactly. who are different from you. But I'm what the point is that I'm trying to make is, you know, even if you live with someone who happens to be alternatively inclined, you may not be, and and it's still it should be probably okay for the person who is yeah. to say that's okay, that's your walk, and do your walk. Exactly. exactly. At least that's how I've done it. Yeah. It has been a little challenging sometimes when we when I've gone out on a date because there's really very few places to go that offer alternative 
in my area, although it's getting better. So anyway, chakra two orange, creativity, co-creativity. So this Christmas, I was, you know, me and the plants. Jewish, generally when I'm talking about chakra two, I'm often talking about the things that we make, our books, our artwork, you know, um, it happens in procreation. We make children, right? Uh, you know, we make um, refuge places for animals. I know women who go out and take care of the feral, uh, feral animals. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's got their different purpose. So anyway, this is the, you know, the beautiful um, amaryllis. So pretty, right? I thought what we could do would be watch it grow. That, that's a good idea. Can so through, through, the, shows. through the, the shows, I've never done an amaryllis before. John always thinks I can take care of every plant, but it's a new one for me, so well, hopefully she I'll be able to do okay with it. You yeah, know? Well, I, I have felt faith in you on that, and you had mentioned something about the amaryllis plant, and we just happened to find those today. Yeah. So. Yeah, I did mention something about the amaryllis because I noticed that it's coming up um, more and more. I think after we went through the isolation and the quarantines and the COVID, the whole idea of plants and animals started to become closer to, to individuals yeah. because they, they started to realize they could co-create their environment because we weren't going out. And yeah. people became, many people became very much deeply in touch with them, themselves and their homes. So now that we're coming into 2022, or we're already there, right? You know, they always talk about um, New Year's resolutions or, or making a new plan. And I oftentimes think of Chakra 2 as something like that. It's like you're going to make something. And you're going to make something happen. And what's your resolution towards that? Hi, Crystal. Crystal's here. So's Ruby. They love each other so. And they're very different in their size and temperament too. But they, they get along under supervision. But, um, yeah, so as I was saying with Chakra 2, you know, we often are thinking about, you know, uh, Our co-creative and our procreative and as we're coming into this time of of uh, the new year or we're in it you know people make the resolutions or they make kind of like personal agreements with yourself and what happens a month in they can't keep it what happens it falls apart they can't they just can't they can't keep it up well, have you kept up New Year resolutions? You don't even make them. You said you no, don't I made, even make them. No, I made them. I made one New Year's re resolution a long time ago, and that was to not make any more New Year's resolutions. Okay, and I've been I able to keep. It I have been know. able to keep that for a long time, more than ten years. I remember her telling me that. Yep. <laughs> but I do every year. I make uh, what I call like a reachable, <laughs> reachable goals, and. Uh, I try not to overreach, uh, but I try to reach far enough to give myself a little bit of a challenge. And you know that yes, about I do. me. <laughs> yes, I do. I always set up these little personal challenges, but I think that it's a healthy thing to do. I think that if we want to keep a healthy mind, if we want to keep a, a healthy spirit, uh, you know, if we want to keep healthy functioning in, in, creative, in our creative, procreative world, how are you going to do that if you're not creating? Very true. That's very true. What What are you going to do with yourself? Yeah. I mean, you're going to create something, you're going right? To, yeah, yeah. But I think that a lot of time, unfortunately, what happens with a lot of people with New Year's resolutions is they make a resolution that basically sets them up to fail. So what they mm -hmm. need to do is, as you have did or have done, is make a reasonable resolution. You know what I did a this year? thing. Because my back, I had some problems. <clears throat> because when we stopped all the movement with the quarantines, and then it was trying to find, well, what kind of exercise 
and then you're not really exercising, but you're doing a lot of yoga, but you're not doing too much of the strength, gravity, and you're jumping on the rebounder. At least that's what I was doing. So I had some issues, you know, too limber, but um, a lifetime. You'd think I'd get it, right? But um, the uh, I got myself a small stationary bike that could be done off in payment, so very affordable. And I started ahead of time, five minutes a day. Yep. And you're up to how much now? Oh, I'm doing more now. Yeah, you're doing, because I, doing you know, about I build up. Minutes. Yeah, I build up. So you built it up slowly though. Very slowly because it, I, I like that kind of concept of when you go gradual, it kind of has time to breathe. And sometimes I find when I, I get excited about things, I can rush ahead. Yeah. So I've learned, you know, as I've gotten older, hopefully wiser, the more you know, the less you know, you know. Very true. So, Very true. But never stop trying to keep knowing. That's right. The quest of knowing. Right? Exactly. So, um, knowledge is power. And, and finding out what is the, the knowledge. You have to have a certain kind of wisdom for that. Yeah. And I think a lot of wisdom does come from that second chakra. We often think of the head as, you know, as part of our, our, wise, our wise energy. But I, I've, I've compared that lower region in the last show in the structure of the skull and the sacrum. So, you know, we have many brains in our body. Even our heart has a mini brain in it. We have a lot of little kind of functioning. Because the more you know, the less you know. Sure. So even in fields as such as science and medicine, and you know, we think we know, and then we and don't then know. We don't, and then we don't know, and then we have to start all over And then we again. say, oh, we thought we knew, but we weren't right. But yeah. now we know. But now we know. But we don't know, so... So it's, it's a, a constant, process. It's a constant that, you know. learning process. Well, that's chakra two. Yeah. I think it's that rebirthing, relearning, yeah. constantly being procreative, recreative, and uh, you know, and you you may find that in in the times when you're doing things like simple thing, making a cookie, or for a a, a guy doing a crossword puzzle, suddenly all these epiphanies come through, right? All this knowledge and wisdom starts bubbling up from <laughs> from from your body, yeah. and, you're, and and you feel it, and you're like, "Whoa, that's deep that's, wisdom, yeah, right? deep knowing." You know. Came from the well, right? So, so yeah, the chakra too, and um, finding something I think in the, in the new year that is going to work for you that you can sustain is, you know, I, I think even, you know, the, the, the fad kick about getting on the diets and running to the gym, and generally it lasts about a month. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm more of a home workout, or I used to walk, and I used to go swim, and I used to go work out in what were all the, the old uh, guys' gyms with the free weights. But now I find that just, you know, keeping close and finding things that work for me at this stage. And someone said something to me about that the other day, because again, it brings up that, that story I said about the man who had lived one life and people said, well, aren't you yes. craving that? And he said, well, what's better than living one is to be able to live two lives. Yeah. I remember you telling me about that. So what happens sometimes when we're going through the process of life, and depending upon where you are and what stage of life journey and what the circumstances are, we're always reevaluating and becoming more aware and then reflective. Okay, then we review our past, we come back into our present, and then we look hopefully towards our future. Keeping that fresh and alive is chakra too. So in other words, for me, I, I don't want to feel that because I couldn't go swimming anymore or because I couldn't do the, um, the working out with the walking as much as I used to uh, just because of 
not wanting to be outside alone and I don't want to walk in a mall with a mask on and just things like that. Adapting and being uh, able to come up with a new way and what to do uh, instead of just going, well, I can't do that anymore, so I'm just going to sit and watch TV, watch TV now. So that's what ends up happening with most people is they just kind of like, well, I can't do that anymore. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to do anything. And then the body starts to do a different process that's not a vital life. And that's when, you know, we go, I should have started that sooner or I should have stuck with that or something like, you know, I should have made it easier. So should have been a Yeah. Yeah. You don't want that to be your New Year's no. resolution agreement with yourself. <laughs> What do you want to tell the viewers, Joan? <laughs> Joan doesn't make New Year's resolutions. No, I don't. Because I, she knows she's not going to... I'm not going to... No, I, it's, I'm not going to... So. I do things on my own, like you do, but right. I, I don't set a time frame. It's right. like if I decide in the middle of the year that I'm going to <laughs> do something that's <laughs> different and that I want to do, that then I will just do it. Right. And I don't do it with any kind of, oh, I made this resolution. No. Well, I don't make yeah. noise about it, but in no. order for me to produce <laughs> books, in order for me to write TV shows, in order for me to do any of the things that I do that I don't get paid to do, they have to come from my passion and creative self yeah. that says, I, 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 if I have to have a book ready, I have to have a, a deadline, and I make deadlines. Yeah, you set, yeah, you I set, set the deadlines. I set deadlines, yep. and uh, because if I don't set the deadline, there's not going to be a show, there's not going to be a book. So, yeah, every New Year's, I kind of map out my year, and I go, well, these are, these are the things I, I'm going to reach towards, at least try to get close towards the mark. And even if I don't get to the mark, I have gone towards the mark, as opposed to not having a mark to go towards at all. So there's a two different styles. You can choose, <laughs> but there's two different styles. And Joan has her style, and you heard my style. So you just got two styles of how we approach that. So that's kind of cool, you know. You have to, you know, again, you have to do what works for you. and. And challenge yourself. And challenge it, I yes. mean, if you don't challenge yourself, yeah. you know, really. I mean, you know, there are times you take times off. But, yeah. you know, you got to get yourself. I have, what, three masters and a doctorate. I didn't do that without deadlines and challenging myself. Yeah. Right? And going through the school and doing all the work that's involved in doing that. And those of you who are out there making these many challenges know what I'm talking about. And one thing that I want to remind you is when you don't set that bar so high, set many jumps and like five minutes on the bike oh that's so like almost like oh my god you have to put all this on to do the five minutes but i did it and if i did it i know you can do it too okay and then you get more you know get up and go and then you can do more it's the same with everything you know if you haven't been reading for a while and you haven't picked up a book you know you're going to find that that's a lot different than picking up Facebook and looking at Instagram or whatever, and that that has a, a right to have its time, but you don't want to lose some of those skills. So, you know, or, or you do, or, or you don't care. And those are just like choices. And I think that's what chakra two is. Yeah. And then when you make your choice, you kind of, kind of like, you, you live with your choice, whatever your choices are. Right. If your choice, you know, you want to have... But your... the good thing about choices is you can always change your choices, too. Some you can. Some you can. Some, yeah, you're right. Some you can't. No, but you work in this. a gynecological office. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. you make a choice and, you know... That's it. Now yeah. you, you've made your choice. You exactly. Know, so. Right. So choices are, you know, tough, but you... But what was I, so I heard someone say... You um, have to make the right choice for you. I heard someone say, and I did this to, with you the other day. You got to have your helm out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you have to have your... I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Or yes, I would do that. 
Yeah. And when, when you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Yeah. That's all two. That's all two. Yeah. Ask the mother. Watch two come out. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Very important. Ask the father. You think a father doesn't have chakra two? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. So chakra two is orange, and... Uh, and we're going into chakra three, but it was just coming right around. I think I'm not sure if you're in the holidays and you're and you're filling up with love and light. You know that's uh, chakra two. You know, entertaining chakra two. You know, so enjoy your chakra two time. Thanks for coming on, Joan. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's no, well, it's always nice to be here and to be with the audience and share with them and and with you. Yeah. And we always learn something new. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, that's the beauty of, of up here and down here is that wisdom is a constant flowing force that's available. And the more you know, the less you know. But keep on knowing. Blessings, everyone. And again, wishing you a happy new year and a safe holiday season as we Move into 2022. And keep visiting us. Come, to, come back to our show. We love having you here. So please join us for your best you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. <laughs>